I'm Beth Woodruff, and I'm directing 12 Angry Men at Pull Tight Theater. What do you do in real life when you're not working at the theater, Beth? I'm a triage nurse at Pediatric Associates of Franklin, and I talk all day on the phone to parents. Wow, my goodness. <laughs> well, how many years have you been associated with Pull Tight? Well, I came to Franklin in 1985, so I've been here 24 years. Wow. And have you directed any other shows here at Pull Tight in all that time? Yes, after I thought about it for a while, I've been directing since 1997, and this is my ninth production with the, with the theater company. That's great. Well, why did you decide on 12 Angry Men? Well, I like dramas. I like dramas that are contained, and I love the concept of the idea of 12 actors in one setting. I had seen the movie and I loved it. The idea of uh, talking so intently about this subject and the, and the tremendous challenge it would be to everybody, the cast and the crew, was really exciting to me, so I was, that's why I chose it. Okay. Could you please uh, give us an outline of the plot of the show? I think a lot of people do know, uh, you know the you know, real basics, but give us, give us an idea of what the show's all about. Right. It, it, is, it, is, it takes place in a jury room in an urban city, and the jury comes into this room and begins to deliberate, and they're deliberating a murder trial. Uh, the defendant is a young man who is accused of murdering his father. And the, at the beginning of the, of the play, I don't want to give anything away, at the beginning of the play, there are 11 members of the jury voting that he is guilty and one gentleman voting that he is not guilty. And the entire play, which by the way is less than 75 minutes, uh, we're presenting it without an intermission, is um, the course of the jury's discussion. That's the subject matter. And it's really interesting watching the interplay between all these characters and how they come to their decisions and how they talk about this defendant and what they say about the, about the trial. But that's, that's the plot in a, in a nutshell. Are there any themes that run through the show? Yes, there are. And I think the main theme is that of tolerance, and which was a very important theme in the period which the show was originally presented. Uh, this show was presented right after the um, McCarthy trials. And there, it was also a period when America was talking quite a bit about um, anti-Semitism and tolerance toward uh, immigrants and there were many refugees from World War II who had come into the country and there's talk about that. Uh, there's also a large um, Puerto Rican population in, in, uh, in urban America at this point and so I think the theme of tolerance which is played out beautifully by members of the cast. We have people who present themselves as the conscience of the group and then we have folks acting as the antithesis of tolerance, and that's really interesting to watch. Um, the theme also of the importance of the jury in the American justice system is also um, played out here, and several people comment on that, and that's quite interesting. And then just how you interact with strangers and how these strangers bond, that's a really interesting theme, and the, and the folks in the play are having a great time exploring those characters and working on that theme. What challenges, if any, has this production presented for you? I think the cast would tell you that their primary challenge has been the script and learning the script. The script is very well written, but it is extremely difficult if there are just 12 actors and they're on stage together the entire time toward one purpose. Every one of the cast has had to learn the entire show, and that's always challenging. Uh, the script is a series, it's a conversation between these 12 men and some of the actors have a lot of lines and some of them have very few and everybody has to know the entire script so that's been a challenge and, and then keeping the pace up with the script. That's been the biggest challenge for the cast. I think for the crew um, there have been a few challenges uh, but those have been very uh, small. Finding the right props, uh, getting the set just right, um, but I think we've done a good job. It's a very cooperative group and very, they're very ingenious and I'm, I'm grateful to everybody that's worked on the production.
How about the intimate setting here at the Pulte uh, Theater? Has that presented any challenges to you or maybe the bonuses uh, in your setting and staging of the play? Well, I think unlike a big musical, this, this is a production that lends itself completely to the small setting. Uh, I have seen this show in larger settings and I think that being right in the laps of the jury is a much better setup for 12 Angry Men and I think that the audience is going to love being able to see all these individuals. We've had a little problem with um, the folks whose backs are to the audience, but they, they're learning to cheat out, we're, we're doing some blocking where folks are turning out, and plus the, the theater is set up in such a way that all the folks on the side who normally don't get a straight on view are going to get a really good view of the table, which is exciting. So we're, I'm, I'm really happy with this setup. Talk to us a little bit about your directional influences. For instance, did you see any of the movie versions or have you seen other versions of the stage show? I have seen the movie and that was interesting. It, it was a little bit um, stagey and, and over dramatic sometimes and I have seen one production uh, which I had some uh, things I wanted to change. There were things about that production I didn't agree with. But it's always interesting to go out and see a show that you're going to work on. Um, and there were, of course, some, there were some stage directions actually in the script, which I really agreed with, some, some directions to the cast and, and then also some, the way you set up your table and stuff, which were, which were helpful. So I, I worked with some of that as well. And what's your favorite part of the show? There's some conflict uh, in the show uh, toward the middle and then toward the end, which is very exciting. But truly, it's hard to pick out a favorite part. I love it when the whole cast is just going at it, like when they all come in at the beginning. That's, that, that's exciting to watch, and it's exciting for them to uh, interact with each other and to get that pacing going. I, I enjoy that. So, Well, tell us a little bit about your prelude event. I understand you have a pretty exciting lineup. Well, thank you for asking. Um, the prelude is going to be uh, Sunday the 18th at 2 o'clock here in the theater. And we are so pleased. Um, my husband is an attorney in Nashville, and he's been able to uh, talk to some of his friends and people he knows in the Williamson County legal community to come in and talk. The theme of the prelude is 12 Angry Men, uh, the role of the jury in the American justice system, which is going to be so interesting. Uh, one of the fellows in the cast is married to the public defender, Vanessa Bryan, and she'll be here. Um, former Attorney General Paul Summer, who is a partner with my husband Woody downtown Nashville, he's going to be here also to talk to us. Uh, there'll be a judge here. We're not sure which judge, but we have one uh, lined up. And then also um, a fellow from the prosecutor's office will be here. So we'll, we're going to have all sides of this question addressed, and it's, it's going to be really interesting to, to talk to these people about how they feel about juries. Well, I can't wait. That does sound exciting. And last but certainly not least, when does the show open and how long is your run? We open October 23rd, Friday, and we run until November 7th, which is a Saturday. And uh, tickets, we understand, are going quickly, so please get online and get those tickets at www.pull-tight.com, or you can call the box office. Um, but we're, we're very excited, and we, we think this is going to be a great run. Okay, well thank you so much for your time, Beth. I'm really looking forward to your show. Thanks, Stephanie. I appreciate it.